Namaste. In this session, we're going to learn how to sit on the floor comfortably for meditation. If you're not able to sit comfortably during meditation and you experience pain or restlessness, this session will help you. You may need a soft mat or blanket and several cushions or pillows to make you comfortable. So you may like to press the pause button and get them ready now. It's very important to be comfortable when you sit for meditation because if we're not comfortable in the beginning, your posture becomes more and more uncomfortable as time goes on. So it's really good to find the right sitting position. In fact, in Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, the oldest book on yoga, Patanjali says, Stiram Sukham Asanam, a meditation posture, should be comfortable and still. It's very good if you're sitting on the floor in the traditional way, because when you sit on the floor, the bulk of the blood stays in the upper part of the body and is available to the brain, resulting in more alertness. So how to sit comfortably in a cross-legged position? There are many different meditation poses you can sit in, and you can look them up if you like. Dhyanasan is a really good one, my favorite. Let's try it. So sitting on the mat on the floor, stretch your legs out in front of you, and whichever leg you usually put down most, bend that one first and keep the heel on the floor tucked up against the center of your body. This is putting a gentle pressure against the perineum or the muladha chakra, the first chakra, the earth or root chakra, keeping the energies flowing upwards and not down into the floor. Then take your other leg, bend it and put it on the floor just in front of and as close to the first leg as possible. Tuck them in nicely. Check that both heels and both legs are on the floor. If this posture is not very comfortable, or if your knees are up off the floor, you'll need one or several firm cushions or rolled up blankets or towels. To get your knees resting on the floor and back comfortable, lean forward until your knees are on the floor and tuck one or more cushions or even a thick bolster under your backside so that you're sitting on the edge of the cushions and your knees remain comfortably on the floor. You may need to try this several times until you find the right, really comfortable position. The cushion gives you a lot of support and ease. It's good to have your knees on the floor as this gives a much larger surface area for your body to rest on the floor giving your body support and steadiness. And your body will be like a pyramid, with the two knees and the backside making a triangle that is very secure. Once you've got your legs comfortable, push your waist or pelvis forward so that your back straightens, and keep pushing that pelvis or waist forward like someone is pushing you forward just below the waistline. It may feel a little artificial at first, but with time, you'll find it very comfortable because you won't get backache. Then imagine that a string is pulling you up from the top back of your head, stretching your spine upwards. Keeping your spine stretched upwards, relax your shoulders and relax your stomach muscles. Keep your arms a little bent and loose, the upper arms close to your body. If you keep your arms straight, then when they relax, your body will lean forward. So from the beginning, keep your arms a little bent and the upper arms near the body. 
Your hands can be flat on the knees facing upwards or downwards. Traditionally, we recommend that the hands be in chin mudra facing upwards or gyan mudra facing downwards. If you want to practice with the mudras, join the thumb and the first finger. The thumb is symbolic of the cosmic consciousness and the first finger is symbolic of the individual consciousness. In meditation, we want to connect to the cosmic consciousness, so we join the thumb and the first finger. The other fingers are relaxed. Hands or palms facing upwards in chin mudra is the receiving mode. Hands or palms facing downwards in gyan mudra is to awaken your inner knowledge and good to do when you're practicing by yourself. Check that your head is balanced, neither hanging down nor tilting back, top of the head parallel to the ceiling, chin tucked back, eyes gently closed. If you wear glasses, you may like to remove them. Keep the mouth closed in a relaxed way. In your mouth, Create a vacuum so that there is no space and the tongue is touching both the top and the bottom of the mouth. In this way, the salivary glands are closed and there is less chance of getting saliva in your mouth. If you do get saliva, just swallow occasionally without worrying about it, without letting it disturb you. When you become more used to meditating and are comfortable, you can do Ujjayi Pranayam, the psychic breath, to deepen your meditation by contracting your throat so that you make a soft hissing sound in the throat like a baby snoring. This relaxes your mind and takes it quickly to a deeper level. You can also do Kechari Mudra, the tongue lock, by folding your tongue backwards against the back of the mouth to conserve energy. This also helps prevent the flow of saliva. So now that you've got your body nice and comfortable, feel the shape and position of your body and check that your body feels balanced and symmetrical. Find its center of equilibrium so that it's neither leaning forward nor back, neither to the right nor left, but totally in alignment with the force of gravity. This gives a lovely feeling of centeredness. Feel that centeredness now. Once you've got your body completely comfortable, lock your body into position, as if you're locking your room or vehicle safe and secure. And say to yourself mentally, for this short time, I can and I will remain absolutely still, easily. And from now on, if you get any temptation to shift or adjust, be aware of the temptation, but don't actually give in to it, just for this short time. It's really important to be strict with yourself in the beginning. No movement. Make a commitment to yourself to sit for meditation every day, just for five minutes, with absolutely no moving. When you're used to it, then it'll become very easy for you to stretch it to six minutes and seven minutes and so on. And once you find that psychic body stillness, Gaia Sterium, then you'll be able to slip into a state of meditation very easily. If you'd like, you can pause the audio now and continue sitting still for a few more minutes or as long as you like. Simply focus on the feeling of stillness in the different parts of the body and the whole body for as long as you can. When you've finished your practice, take a few deep breaths, have a big stretch, and if you want, 
lie down and relax your body, or simply end your practice. So best of luck with your sitting posture and your meditation. And every time you sit in meditation, do it like this. And if the asana I'm suggesting is not comfortable for you, then find your own meditation posture. But be very strict with yourself. No moving whatsoever. Then you can go very far in your meditation experience and deep into your spirituality. Namaste.